I drove two hours to Raleigh, North Carolina to try a bakery called Madam B's. Remember Backyard Barbecue Pit? This is the restaurant. It is called Backyard Barbecue Pit. It was a series of things that happened that caused the restaurant to go under. The restaurant y'all donated your hard-earned money to help save from closing? Well, they're now paying it forward and helping another restaurant that's in jeopardy of closing. <laughs> Look at God. <laughs> that's great. So I ordered every cupcake, every cheesecake, every slice of cake that she had on the menu. We're going to try them all right now. You got to try the Cinnabon roll first. Mm. Well, I'll be down. and taste just like a Cinnabon, too. Jesus Christ. So for one, all these cupcakes come in this little basket, right? It's pretty dope. This one is topped with a Cinnabon. The icing is pretty good, it's not too sweet. You can definitely taste the cinnamon. I think I also taste maple too. I thought this was gonna be a little bit too sweet, but it's just right for daddy. This is the fun fetty, y'all. Got a rice crispy on this bitch? Mmm. Mm. That's fire. So I ain't gonna lie to you, at first glance, I thought this had way too much ice. But it's not as sweet as I thought it would be. Also, it goes perfect with this, this fruity pebble rice crispy treat. And the cake itself is very colorful, just like a from Betty cake. I can get jig with this. It's a triple chocolate with vanilla. Shout out to my chocolate baddies out there. Mmm. Yeah, this is a hit too. Damn. You know, I like these little baskets. They're nice and wide, and you're able to stuff a lot of cake in these mugs. On top, it looks like we have a brownie, ice, and chocolate drizzle everywhere. I like this. This is triple chocolate. Mm -hmm. Something about that chocolate you put in there, man. It really has me, has me feel some type of way. This one's the same as the one I had before, but you can really taste the chocolate on this one because it doesn't have any vanilla. Oh, you like chocolate? This is the one. Oh, it's really about to go down now. This is the chocolate cherry, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So on this one, the chocolate is very rich and moist, just like I like it. It also seems like there's some chocolate chips up in this mug, too. Wish this had more of a cherry taste, though. I don't want to taste that much cherry, but still good. This is the strawberry key lime. Ooh, this is going to be good. Come on out the box, bitch. Don't be scared. Mm. So it's half key lime, half strawberry. She had the nerve, the audacity to have fresh strawberries in this mug. And last but not least, man, it's, it's, it's puffy. It's kind of swollen, thick. This is how I like my women. Oh, yeah, this be that strawberry vanilla, y'all. Mm. So in between the crack, the crevices, looks like she done added some, some strawberries in this mug. And it's filled with cream, by the way. <laughs> filled with cream. But if you like strawberries, you like this, because that icing is to die for. This is called the banana pudding. Mm, nah. Doesn't taste like banana pudding, in my opinion. Tastes just like banana nut bread. But what are these crushed wafers on the side? Oh, still not a fan. Red velvet, also known as the soul snatcher. Mm. Is this good? It's okay. Me and my red velvet having a slight chocolate taste to it. But this one, I ain't tasting that. But it's still thick, moist, and icy, so you'll like it. This is the strawberry cake. Oh, yeah, this is where it's at, bruh. When you bite into this, I'm going to tell you right now, very warm, moist sensation is going to go in your mouth. Probably by far my favorite one. You'll like this. This is the triple chocolate. I know I just had this in cupcake form, but this, when you have it in cake slice form, it's knee buckling, like for real. Father God, in the name of Jesus. This is the cookies and cream, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Icing has cookie crumbles on it. The overall cake itself tastes just like an Oreo cookie. This one isn't as moist as the other cakes, but I still, I still tear this up. This is the chocolate cake. I'm gonna tell you right now, this yellow cake right here is, is, is caking. Nice little chocolate going down the middle, and it's creamy, too. What's the problem? This is a strawberry shortcake in a cup. That bathroom gonna be begging for mercy tonight. I just know it is. So you got cake, cream, strawberries, and a crust at the very bottom. The ingredients taste really fresh, they really do. Kinda wish it wasn't that much cream in here. I've been fighting to get to the bottom for like five minutes. But if you like a lot of cream, then you'll definitely like this. This is the strawberry cheesecake with chocolate bottom. It's different, but absolutely not a fan of this. The chocolate bottom just overpowers the whole entire cheesecake, bruh. To the point to where that's all I taste. No. This is the chocolate truffle. That's better. I like that. So it has the cream on top with the chocolate drizzle. And this one actually has an even balance of everything. I'm a fan of this one. Was it worth the two and a half hour drive? Yes. This restaurant simply does not have the marketing to put themselves out there. And I really hate that because the cakes were, the cakes were busting. So I'm going to put the address right here. If you guys are in Raleigh, North Carolina, passing through, whatever the case is, stop by, give it a try. I promise you won't regret it.